Hey, what's up guys? This is Truffle Peace and this is not crisp craft. This is a instructional slash how to video. And this one here, I just want to put this disclaimer on. This is not for just any version of Minecraft or whatever. This is for servers with like spy got protection or whatever but it isn't doesn't work on every single one of them it doesn't work on most of them actually but this is a dupe glitch now if you guys have watched a youtuber by the name of the camping rusher you will know of well if you if you didn't already you will you will well know of the server by the name of 2b2t and if you knew of that you watch you start watching Fit MC's videos, and he's shown the, the way that they were duping their armors and 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 e gapples and all that good stuff. Now he didn't show an ex an instructional instructional video, so I figured I would help out those who are who were who were trying it out. Now keep in mind that this is actually very low resource intensive. Of course, you have to get a portal. And you have to get the mine carts and rails and hoppers, but that but that's about it. That is all all you need to get really. Now, so first of all, here I have I have the start of it all built. I got the portal and that and the start of the rail. And one important thing to mention is that you will want to have the back part of your portal blocked off like this. Otherwise, it will not work. And yeah. And then yeah, so what we're gonna do here, we are going to grab these, these. Well, pretty much you need for for the most simplest design you can do. You want to grab a powered rail, a single powered rail, and a couple rails, and a redstone torch. And then you can either use a minecart with chest or a minecart with hopper. And now on the overworld side, it. You want to place down the rails like that, and then about three away, you want to place your powered rail. I already have a, I already have a redstone torch underneath there. So yeah, and and for this, j just just because it is a video based on 2B2Ts. Based on a duplication glitch feature on 2B2T, I am using a hacked client. Now, for the longest time there, I was actually I did I did actually play a Anarchy servers in that, and so I do have a couple hacked clients. But uh, but now I use them just for minimal things like auto fishing and that. So yeah, I don't I don't use the X-ray at all. I don't use the flight or or kill or whatever have you. All, all, I'm pr all I pretty much use is auto fish and auto reconnect and auto respawn and that's about it. But anyway, so continue on from here. We want to place a block down and then a rail on top of that and then a block down like that. And that will pretty much generally be the most basic you can do this. Well, I guess you can you technically don't really need this, the block, there, but that's the way I did it. And then on the nether side, I already have the hole cut out, the, the, the little markings around there. Here. So, on the nether side, you just need regular rails, and uh, two hoppers, and one or two chests. So. Well, well, we'll start by doing just two chests. I'm going to do a hopper video yet, but hoppers. If you do one chest, you want to place one hopper facing into that chest, and you want to place a second hopper facing into the first one. If you do two chests, you can just straight up face them both into the chest. No work. And then after that, you want to put your rails along here, and then just like that. As I said, this well, this is the simplest is that that I'd go, but you you don't you don't need this here. You can just put a block up here, just like this to stop the cards from going. 
and or you don't even need to do that. You could just let them go however long long they'll want to go before stopping on the solid ground. And then you and then generally I put a block there. Haven't really tried it without the block there, but yeah. And then that is generally how you set it up. And if we head back over to the overworld, oh, time set day. There we go. And then so now what we do? We place the minecart with the chest down, and then you put the any old item in it, and then you send it through. And then with that, it should arrive in the chest with duplicated. And the key with this is that you cannot do two items. You cannot do more than one item in the in the minecart chest. You can only do one item at a time in the chest, in the my er, in the minecart chest. Or you can also use a minecart hop, a hopper minecart. That's the same thing. You can only do one item. If you do more than one item, it will only duplicate the first the item in the first first available slot that er, yeah it will, it will only duplicate the first item um, that that the hoppers on in the nether would grab so yeah you cannot or be, you cannot do duplicate more than one item at a time but then that is where things get fancy because then you get setups like I'm going to show you here. There's that. And then we want to grab this off here, grab that. Boom. Boom. And this right here is actually the way that uh, myself and Zenoba started doing the Minecraft, the, the, the uh, duplication glitch on the on the on the server that we were on. And so I know it works. I know it does. I can tell you that for sure. Aside from that, when that happens. So if that happens, you break the block four, and then you place down the rails again. Just like that. So we'll place these underneath. There. And there. And there. Oh. And there. We need a button on top. These guys, just because. Actually, no. We we'll start with button. We'll do a setup. We will grab us uh, some repeaters and some um, stone dust and a button. Place this here. Actually, no. Place it over here. And I'll have the so that the button goes here on the top. We'll go on the top, just like that. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Into right there. Actually, no, I'll put break this one, put it there. And then do 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 Alrighty, so if we place, actually, there and there and there, there we go. So we got the we got the thing set up, but 
this, pretty much, pretty much this right here, you can, this is a tileable, well, multi-item duplication design, based on this duplication glitch alone. So, yeah, you pretty much do the, the same thing as far back as you want. I don't know, on, um, for those of you watching who, who, uh, knew me on 1b1t.xyz, this is actually what we used. We had it going back so that we duplicated, so that we were able to, to duplicate about a stack of golden, enchanted golden apples at a time. So, yeah. And then, with this, you just load up the stuff, and then send them off. Although, of course, there was also the delay between, so, yeah. Anyway, you do that, and then they all go through, and then they all end up down there. Actually, actually, with this, this way that I like doing it, because then I could just come down here with them all piled together and break, break them up. But yeah, that, that is pretty much how the duplication glitch worked. Now, another thing that I would like to point out, if, if, if you decide to test it on the server that you're on, there are a couple variables that you would have to take into consideration if you find that it doesn't work. The first variable, which, which would be the simplest to test, would be to do it reversed. So, you do this setup, you do the setup like, like you have, like we have here. Well, not this one, whichever one you decide. But you have this part in the Nether and the Nether part in the Overworld. And that may work, that may not work if if it doesn't work like this. Another thing is you could also try getting the aid of another person because with some patches for this, but the, the the way that some servers patch this is. In order to be able to do this, you would have to have someone with nether ch with the nether chunks loaded, as well as someone with the overworld chunks loaded. I know that that is how it was on 1b1t.xyz after they patched it, and yeah. But also too with that, that apparently, I believe it was Ocas that confirmed that the that the reverse way of doing it worked instead of having two people because, because the overworld chunks are usually always loaded and with the nether and the end they are different dimensions so the chunks generally aren't always loaded but yeah so anyway this has been a little fun fact video slash instructional video for if you ever decide to use it and if you like this kind of comment, uh, content, please leave a comment and a like so that I know it helps me out a lot. And if you would like to see some more of my stuff, check out the rest of my videos or check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be trying to upload new content as regularly as I can. So with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video. A pace.